Although it does not happen often, sellers do fire their agents and don't be the one that they fired. In real estate, relationships can sour quickly if a real estate agent overpromises and underdelivers. Sometimes it can be a combination of little things. So let's look at the top five reasons sellers fire their agents. Number one, the home is not selling as fast as they thought it should. Sellers are impatient and anxious to get their home sold for whatever their reason for selling may be. Setting appropriate expectations up front is critical and make sure and do it. Number two, inadequate marketing. Good agents know how to market listings through multiple channels. They also need to be willing to spend money to get it done. Starting with professional photos. Those that don't want to put in the effort or the money, it's going to be obvious early on. Number three, poor communication. Now, if you want to frustrate your sellers, don't answer their phone calls. Ignoring your client is bad, bad business. Not communicating effectively with the client is usually an indication on how you communicate with everyone. Number four, lack of professionalism. Selling their home is most likely the largest financial transactions of a person's life. They expect professionalism. They expect you to care and be empathetic. Be punctual, dress and look professional, and demonstrate that you respect the business relationship that you have with them. Number five, inability to negotiate effectively. Haggling is an integral part of selling which takes practice and skill. A good negotiator doesn't have to be overly aggressive but possesses the ability to work out agreements where everyone feels like they're walking away with what they want. So when you're trying to sell the orange, one might want the orange, the other one might want the peel. Figure out who wants what. Now that we know the top five valid reasons sellers fire their agents, remember it's not always about the agent. It may be unrealistic preconceived expectations the sellers may already possess. During your listing presentations, it's just as important to listen to the client, understand their motivation, and judge if it will be the reasonable business relationship that you both want. Now for minding your own business. Today's marketing tip is about the listing flyer. These can be single sheets with the front and back, but if you want to impress, make a standout full color marketing brochure. There's a lot of templates for trifolds that you can use for making a high quality brochure, so it's not as daunting as it might seem. Having something that buyers can preview prior to touring your home is smart marketing. A great looking brochure with professional photos is ideal for reaching an expanded audience, especially those that are not so internet savvy. There's also a lot of information you can add to a brochure, such as your bio, your recommendation for a lender, a full description of the property, moving tips, or information about the neighborhood. Think outside the box. Think about what they're going to want. Add the wow factor. Well, that's this week's Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me again, and have a great day.